Hey everyone, welcome to Triniculate Designs. My name is Trina and I'm the owner and designer here at Triniculate Designs. And let me pull this up to make sure everything's working good. As you come on, tell me hello. Let me know what are y'all doing this late at night. Um, okay, it looks great on my end. Hey, Miss Frida. Hey, Miss Vera. Hey, Miss Jan. Miss Barbara. How are you ladies doing? I've got three phones going on here, y'all. One that don't work with Facebook. One that doesn't work for service and then my daughter's phone so hey miss diane hey ladies so tonight y'all we're going to be finishing the um beer mug for the saint patrick's day we're not finishing we're going to do the top the foam is what i was told that it was called hey miss sandy hey debbie hey annabelle how are y'all ladies doing hey miss frida so last night y'all i taught this in my inside scoop group how stinking cute y'all see the glitter how cute did he turn out? He was so much fun to paint. It took me like two hours in there with my ladies to paint this. So, let me set that there and let me grab the beer jug or the beer mug. So, this is what we painted the other day. And tonight, we're going to get the, I was calling it whipped cream, y'all. But, um, they, I was told it was called foam. So, Oh my goodness, I left my white paint. Left my white paint open. That may not be good. But oh well. It is what it is. Hey Deb. Hey Daisy. Oh my goodness, my little girl has the most notifications coming up. Hey Jamie. Hey Catherine. Hey ladies. Hey Miss Sharon. I'm finally live. Joey decided he was going to go to bed early. So I had to make sure I stayed up and... I mean, didn't come live until I got the kids down for a nap or down for bed. A nap. Lord knows when it took naps and I don't know how long. All right. So, this is what we're going to be doing. We're going to get the top of it like this. So, we're going to use some off-white, which is going to be like the antique white. If y'all don't mind, hit that little button and sprinkle me across Facebook world. Appreciate it. Um, We're going to get... Prob probably light mocha. Let's do light mocha. I don't know that sugar peach is a pretty color too. I don't know. We're going to do off-white though. I've got so much paint on my table, y'all. It's going to drive me crazy. All right. So let's get light mocha because I'm about out. I'm going to have to make a paint run, y'all soon all of my little bottles is about done with let me get a new bottle of the or another bottle of the antique white so um glad you made it yay miss sharon i am too i'm glad that you're here hey miss Teresa. so as you ladies hop on let me know what you're up to and um let me know is your kids going back to school yet because mine started back school yesterday Yesterday was their first day back face-to-face, -face, so I'm excited about that because y'all, I love them. I love my paint. I love them, but I'm just not good with, with teaching them. I'm going to try to not waste none of this paint, so I'm going to get all of it out. I'm trying not to wake the whole family back up by doing it. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and put a coat of this on here. And we're going to start off with a paint booger. How about that? We're just going to spread that on there. And this has got paint boogers all in it. Oh, goodness. Y'all, tell me I'm not the only one that has this issue. I'm about to the point to where I'm... I want to switch paints. I really am. About to the point to where I'm about to give up on these little small bottles of um, apple barrel paints and deco art 
And I'm about to go to some Cheryl Williams in the can. See if that helps. Because it is about to get to me. Gonna get the best of me, y'all. All right, so y'all know that I had my spread the love challenge. And I need some of you ladies to head over and join me and do my spread the love challenge. Because it is an amazing challenge. And if you're new and you're wondering what I'm talking about, um, my spread the love challenge is where I'm gonna challenge you to paint a door hanger with me. And I also have this thing going on in that challenge. And this is strictly just for the people that takes the challenge and they that wants to do this but i'm also going to challenge everyone to give their door hangers away and then if they take a picture with the person that they gave it to i'm going to do a drawing of all those people that shares their picture that gives their their door hanger away from the challenge and they will get a month free in the inside scoop group hey ladies hey miss brenda hey olivia hey marla Am I missing any comments? I think I was seeing some comments. I wish I could paint as fast as you. Andrea, I think I'm slow. I mean, like that St. Patrick's Day design last night literally took me two hours in my group to paint with them. Which now, we did a lot of uh, floating and shading and stuff in that little leprechaun gnome. That's what I'm calling him. I'm calling him a leprechaun gnome. And um, it took some time. I was like, y'all, I'm so sorry it's taken me so long to paint this. But, you know, it had, like, it had a lot of details in it. I don't know if y'all can see all of that, like, shading and blending. And the um, we did the floating technique on that. But it really did. It took, took me two stinking hours, y'all. But it was definitely a fun piece to do. Okay, so, I'm past, um, I get them too. What causes it? I have no idea. Ours are doing blended learning two days. And they're two days at home. Oh, uh, Miss Sharon, that's the way ours was for a little while. Where did you get your hoodie? Miss Teresa, I've had this hoodie for a while, and there's this little boutique in our town. Um, let me think of the name of it. Seven, like the number seven, Seven Boutique. She did, um, she had a booth at our church one year. It's been like two years ago, and I bought it from her. So she may still have some. Um, she's got a Facebook, but it's called Seven Boutique. And um, that's where it came from. So we're gonna give this a quick little dry. So do I have any ladies on here that sign up to do my challenge? Y'all, it's only $10. And when you do the challenge, I will provide you with a template. Um, if you don't, don't know what a template is because you've never done a door hanger, you're in for a big surprise because a template makes it so much easier to actually get your design onto your wood. While this is dry, I'm just gonna talk and I'll show you the template not the template, the design that we're gonna be doing. So this was um, a clip art that I found on Pinterest and I just tweaked it just a little bit, y'all, because I thought it was so stinking cute. And um, the, I gave you, you'll be getting this template and I'm gonna give you, um, not give you, I'm gonna do a live painting this with y'all in, um, in the private Facebook group. After you join the challenge, you would come back and ask to join the group. And then I'm gonna show you exactly how to get this cut out using a jigsaw. It'd be really pretty to have some kind of flowers on that. Katie says I'm doing a challenge and people are excited to paint, paint it and spread the love by giving it away. I'm excited about that too. I'm gonna get mine away as well. I'm gonna get mine away. Not to my mama, <laughs> but I'm gonna get mine away. Miss Sandy, hey. Hey, Miss Elma. Hey, Miss Sandra. Miss Mary says I joined. 
Miss Shauna, is that your, what happened? Am I pronouncing it wrong? She says she signed up for it. Yay! But it's going to be super, super fun, y'all. And one of the big things the, about the challenge is when you do the challenge, at the end of the challenge, I will open up my inside scoop group just for the people that does the challenge. So if you enjoy the challenge, you will have the opportunity to join the inside scoop group, which is not open to the public right now. Um, I need some more, oh goodness, some more antique white because that's just, those are doing it. Thank you, Jonna. Have y'all ever struggled with opening your paint in these little bottles and you thought you had to sit here and kind of like break it open? And if you would take your hand and put it around it and just twist it and pull it up while you're twisting it, see how it's bringing it to the top? That is the easiest way to get that little plastic off of your little two ounce bottles. Just a little tip for you if you, you never tried that. I'm a little late. What did I miss? I'm sorry. Latanya or Latoya, um, I'm probably bombing your name like I do everybody. Um, we're going to be painting. Today, we're just doing the top of this beer mug. So, um, we just got the first coat on here. We're fixing to add the second coat. And then we're going to do some blending and shading. Because I love some blending and shading, y'all. I can't hardly do any of my door hangers no more without doing the blending and shading on it. So, we got to add that. So, what we're going to do is we're just going to put our second coat on here. Let me get me some of that paint there. And now we're going to Make sure we're spreading this out and getting all of those paintbrush strokes out of there. So we're doing long strokes. But y'all, for the challenge, do not, I mean, really do not feel like you, like you have to give your door hanger away. You do not have to give your door hanger away. If you want to keep your door hanger, you can totally keep your door hanger. Um, rats, I won't tell the hubby he's right. <laughs> What do you mean, Miss Sandy? What about? I'm replying to Carol. Hey, Miss Patty from the Dallas area. You have a cordless saw and the battery doesn't last very long. Miss Carol, I don't have a cordless saw. I've never tried one. Because of that reason, I was always scared that the battery wouldn't last. But now they do have different size batteries or different batteries with different volts. I don't know if that's what you would call it with a battery. Um, so you may could get a bigger battery and it could last longer. So you may want to check into that. Because I know they have different, they have bigger batteries. But I was always scared to get one with the battery because of as much cutting as I used to do. All right, so this second coat's probably gonna do it, and this is still pretty wet, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get my light mocha, and we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna do some shading and blending with it. What happened to my paper? Lower it, I lost my paper. Where did it go? Y'all, did y'all see what I did with my paper? Hey, Miss Roxanne. Hey, Miss Meg. Hey, Tina. Hey, Teresa. Y'all. Where did you hear this? Over here on the floor. Let me get it. Oh, my Lord. All right. So, in here, we're going to, like, just define our foam here. We're going to give it, kind of like give it a shape. Make it look like it's fluffy. Okay. So here we go. We're gonna just take the edge of it and we're gonna dip it in that light mocha. And then we're just gonna come around the shape of this foam. So I'm gonna start here and I'm just gonna start pulling that color, that light mocha this way. And then we're just gonna blend that in. Okay. Now 
We're going to do it just like that. Let me pull it up close so y'all can kind of see it. Y'all see how we're just blending that light mocha in? So that's what we're doing here. Oh, Lord. That's what we're doing here. We're going to take it from here, and we're going to blend it there. And I'm using my same paintbrush, so it's still got a good bit of that antique white on there. And I'm just dipping like the corner of my paintbrush in the light mocha. And then I'm putting the corner with the light mocha on the edge of my, my phone. Having to dip that again because that's a pretty big little loop there. And I'm dipping back into my light mocha because I feel like it needs to be a little bit more darker. I'm going to go back over this one just like that. Probably going to go over this one again just to bring that out just a little bit more. Kind of blended a little too good on me. Okay. Y'all see how easy this technique is? This is like the easiest way to do some blending on your pieces and like really bring certain areas out. All right, let's come this way. All right, so y'all see how that's going? Hey, Miss Becky, hey, Miss Deborah, hey, Miss Judy. Hey, Regina. All right, so I'm going to bring it back down so I can kind of work this one. See, like, now my piece is drying right here. So I'm going to take, um, I'm going to take my wax paper and I'm going to spread, like, spread some water on there so I can wet my paintbrush just so... I can get this flowing a little bit better because it is dried and that's going to help it like blend it in a whole lot easier. That antique white for some reason kind of feels real chalky. All right, so there we go. See that really, really helped. Kind of almost like what we do when we're doing the floating is we try to get leave some water on your brush and that helps the flow of your paint when you're trying to to float it I'm gonna come and I'm gonna go ahead since I've got some water on here and pull some of that light mocha down a little bit further just like that y'all see what's happening y'all see how it's like bringing it out. It's really bringing these, the shape of the, what you call it? What is it? The foam, good Lord. And having just a little bit of water, it really just makes it so much smoother and easier to bring. So like right here, that antique white paint Kind of like clunking up on me. All right, y'all see how that came together? And it kind of like really brought it out. This one's looking kind of, kind of too much. So I'm going to take my water and I'm going to blend that in a little bit more so it don't pop out quite as much. That one seems like it pops out a lot too. Ha! Huh, that looked better. Da -da -da -da. See, I love that. I love it. Hey, Miss Jolene, thank you so much. Hey, Miss Sue and Miss Samantha. We have Dewalt tools, all battery operated, so we have lots of batteries and kept them charged. I usually get two or three large door hangers cut from a full battery, and that is the smaller battery. I love the battery operating jigsaw. Um, you like, so you like the battery. See, so Miss Kathy loves the battery one. Hey, Miss Wendy, hey, Miss Linda, hey, Miss Jackie and Amanda. Miss Charlene, hey there, Lily. Miss Deborah, Miss Becky, and Miss Judy, hey ladies. How are y'all doing tonight? If y'all don't mind, could y'all hit that little button down below and sprinkle me around 
through to Facebook land. Miss Sandy says, thanks, ladies, for the cordless info. Thank you, Regina. All right, so now if you notice, like, in my mock-up picture, you can see, like, the little swirls that goes through the foam. So we're going to try to create that look with the paint. So this mock-up I done actually on Procreate. So I think it's a, I really like the challenge that it is trying to make the actual door hanger using paint to look like the actual mock-up picture with Procreate because it is definitely different. It's a different technique. Like, I mean, with when you're doing the mock-up pictures for, you know, on Procreate, you're, you're using, um, like a pen and a tablet and it just, I don't know. So this is gonna go, we're gonna come here and we're gonna swirl this up. So let's come here and we're just gonna swirl this up into that little foam there. All right, I lost which edge. But say I lost my edge, y'all. I was about to put it on the wrong edge, y'all. Once again. All right. We're going to bring it this way. I need to put some more of that light mocha. And we're going to bring it. <clears throat> we're going to bring it this way. And we're just going to start blending that in. I'm just going to start blending it in. Can y'all see the swirl? <coughs> hey, Melanie. Okay. I've got to clean my table. When I get off of here, I'm going to show y'all my table. It is such a mess. All right, so then we've got some little marks that just comes through. So we're going to get that light mocha. We're going to blend it in with the antique white and some water. And we're just going to, like, do a little swirl. A little swoosh in a way just a little swoosh all right we've got like a little swoosh here so that's all we're doing is swooshing it and making like like it looks like little different layers and stuff of this okay where is my anti white I've got to clean this table off I'm losing things, y'all. Let's get some more of that antique white. We're going to mix this in just a little bit. We're going to blend that in just a little bit more. We're going to blend it in a little bit more. And you're just gonna work it until you get it blended the way you want it. I do not think that there's a right or wrong way to do this. I think whatever catches your eye and it starts to look the way you're just the way you like it, I think that's the right way. All right, so do y'all see how we did that? We just got it looking like it's got some little swooshes, so it looks all fluffy now. All right, so now what we're going to do is I think I'm going to do some floating, y'all, um, on my edges, on the very edges, and maybe in the swooshes there. But we're going to get a smaller paintbrush. We're going to get a new paintbrush. How about that? So I've got paint on here. Hey, ladies. For the Spread the Love Challenge, can you order the piece cut out? Yes, Sharon. You sure can, but you're in the inside scoop, so um, you'll have to message me. So if you don't, for the Spread the Love Challenge, if you don't cut your own door hangers out, I am offering, um, <coughs> I am offering the cutouts. There is an option. There's ladybugs. There's an option in my 
on the checkout, when you check out, when after you join, there is an option in there to where you can order the blanks. All right, so we're gonna try this floating on this. Just because I got, I got water on there now, I got it everywhere. All right, so let's see. You know what? I'm I need a darker brown. So let me get Let's try this territorial brown because it's not really going to show up too good with that light mocha already on there. Okay. So here we go, y'all. Let me work my... I'm gonna try it, we're gonna try it. See, this is what takes kind of a while to do, is the whole floating. All right, I'm gonna show y'all. Y'all see the difference in that versus the top? Like you see this one and then this one? Can y'all see the difference? It will not let me sprinkle to my page. I copied and pasted. Oh, Miss Jerry, that's odd. There's no telling what's going on. All right, so we're gonna continue that and I'm just gonna continue it going around, y'all. I've got water everywhere. I was trying not to. I need a clean bottle, but I don't have a clean bottle up here. So we're just gonna work with what we got, y'all. I'm gonna spray it on here. That's not normally the way I do it, but we're just gonna work with it. We're gonna work with it. All right, so now we're gonna come to this one. And I've got way, way too much on that. Here's my thing. Here we go. We're just gonna mop that out, y'all. And try to blend that in. Because that did not work out the way I was hoping it would. Okay, that did not turn out right. It's green beer. <laughs> it's green beer. All right, so I just did that and I didn't need to. All right, so I'm not going to do the floating because I'm not doing it very well tonight. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to grab that 
and we're just going to kind of like outline it with that darker brown just because my floating is not working too good because I don't have a thing of clean water to use which now that I'm like okay I'm not going to do it it's kind of doing its own little thing here kind of doing it a different kind of way but it's still putting it on there yeah kind of doing it because I really do need a clean cup of water y'all and I don't have it I do not have a clean cup of water. So we're just going to somewhat float it. How about that? Do our own little technique. Which is doing okay. Let me see if I can do it like. It did it. Try to float it out. Okay, that totally worked. Dun dun dun. I need to kind of. Move that out a little bit. There we go. We have a guest coming in our group in the Inside Scoop this Tuesday. She is really, really good with doing the floating technique. So she's going to come in and she's going to teach us how to do it the professional way. So, we are going to rock it, y'all. We may not rock it right now, but we are going to learn it and we are going to practice it and we are going to perfect it. Okay, y'all see how that's looking so far? It's had a, a little bit of a floating look to it. <coughs> hey, Miss Linda. Hey, Miss Shelly. Hey, Miss Pat. It looks like floating to me. Good job. Thank you, Carol. Hey, Natalie. Hey, Becky. Hey, Miss Karen. And the other Natalie, Miss Beth, Cynthia, Susie. What kind of brush was that? This, um, I'm assuming you're asking about this brush. This is what they call... It says oval mop, so it's a little mop brush. I recently just discovered what these little mop brushes was used for. So, they use it when, if you get on YouTube, y'all, and you look up floating, um, like acrylic paints and stuff, you will see exactly what it is that I'm trying to do here. Um, it's a really fun technique, and a lot of people that used to do that, I think they call it toll. Is it called toll painting? I'm not too familiar with it, but because um, I've never done it. 
but they love the floating technique. And the floating technique just gives, makes things look more realistic and it just gives it more definition, if that makes sense. But there's definitely a process to it that you have to just kind of like practice it and get to know it. Like you have to like know how much paint to put on your bristles, how to get it blended into your bristles, how much water to use. Um, there, there's just, there's definitely a learning curve to it that you have to kind of like learn to, to do it the right way. So I need to blend, I need to get a little bit more water and I need to blend that out so. And I need a little bit of water and we're gonna smooth this out. A little bit of water and we're gonna smooth this out. That one looks really dark, so we're gonna kinda like smooth it out too. Okay, so do y'all see, y'all see it now? Okay. So I think we're gonna be done with the blending and stuff. I think I do wanna add, I'm gonna add like a little bit here. I'm gonna add a little bit here. Come here, paint. Come here, water. I'm just trying to add a little bit more to where these little the little loops are or I don't know what they're called y'all and we're just going to start blending it with the original color just to make it like blend a little bit better but I'm definitely going to be practicing it until I really understand it and I, and I can do it with confidence. Like right now, I'm not doing this with confidence because I'm, I'm still learning how exactly to load my brush and how to use my water to get it like soaked up in my bristles because all of that matters when you're doing the whole floating. I've got paint everywhere. All right, so... We're gonna dry this, then we're gonna put our highlights on here, and um, then I'm gonna add the glitter, and then we will be done with the, can y'all see that? Then we will be done with the, um, the foam. So let's give this a good little dry. Hey, Miss Sherry, where did you find the mop brush? Hobby Lobby. This one's by Master Touch. But I got mine from Hobby Lobby. Hey Tracy, hey Melissa. All right, so we're gonna move this if you want. I'm not gonna put it on the table. Where's my chair? Ooh. We're gonna put it down there with the ladybugs, y'all. So we're gonna give it a good little dry. Y'all, guess what I do tomorrow? I go get my hair cut tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Let me show y'all a picture real quick. Y'all probably really don't want to see it, but I'm going to show y'all how we get it done. I hope it's not there. Let me find my Google Photos. But I'm going back with my short bob, where it's kind of shorter in the back and it gets longer in the front. 
So this is it. I think I'm gonna get that again. That's my short haircut that I always go to. So that's one, and this is two. This one has more longer length in the front. So which one do y'all think, one or two? So two or one? Can y'all see it? Um, so all of this is gonna be cut off. I'm gonna whack it off y'all because I can't take it no more. Cause this is all I do, I just pull it back. All right, so let's get, I'm gonna use, do I wanna use a Posca pen or do I wanna use a, I'm gonna use a paintbrush if I can find my paintbrush that I do all of my, that ain't probably got no water in there. I'm gonna have a mess with those paintbrushes. Let me see if I can find my brush that I normally do my highlights with. I will show y'all my mess I've got on this table. Y'all gonna, y'all gonna really understand what I'm talking about when I say I've got like a hot mess here. Amy says two, Miss Susan, one, one, two, one, 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 one. So a lot of people's wanting one. I asked my ladies in my inside scoop too when I was talking about getting it done and they, they actually said one too. So I'm going to wet my paintbrush. I don't have a clean cup of water, so what I've done is I just took my spray bottle and I just wet it. What this is gonna do is just gonna give me a, a smoother flow with my highlights. So I'm gonna get some white. And um, we're gonna get that white on here. And then we're gonna come here and we're just gonna take it and we're gonna put some little white highlights in our little. A little foam here, okay? I think I'm gonna go ahead too and put some down on my bottom piece here. And get me some more. Okay. So there, it's very subtle. I didn't get carried away with it. What brush do you use, do you do lettering with? Miss um, LaToya, I do lettering with a Posca pen or either a painter's pen for Walmart. I am not comfortable doing it with a brush. Um, I need to practice it with a brush though. That needs to be on my practice to-do list. My to-do list of all the other things I need to practice on. But I normally use a Posca pen. All right, now we're gonna highlight it with the black. So we're just gonna come here and we're just gonna go around and we're gonna add that black. But yep, I normally just use a good old Posca pen. All right, so let me see. I'm looking at my picture just to make sure I've got everything going good. We're gonna go ahead and we're gonna add our black highlights down here. Trying to go very lightly with this. All right, so this is what we got so far. felt like I needed to do that because those other ones was a little bit thicker and it kind of made it look like this one didn't have any. So there we go. And I totally forgot that one. All right, so this is it. Hey, Miss Kim, I can't do it with a brush either. Yeah, I think with that, it really, it, it takes practice. So 
That is my advice is just to practice it with a paintbrush and see the improvement with the more you practice. Thank y'all so much. I think once I get to really know the whole floating technique, then doing all of these black and white highlights, I won't even do anymore. Because when you learn to float, the floating is going to bring everything out. And you're, if you add like all of these highlights to your floating, then to me, it takes away from your whole floating. And I feel like if you work that hard to float on your, your items, you don't want to mess it up. All right, so we're going to add our glitter. So I'm going to use the Deco Art Craft Twinkles in the gold. And then, y'all, that will be it for tonight. That will be it. Let's see, where do you fit in there? Oh, yes. So I'm going to come up here and I'm just going to start, y'all. I'm going to put this gold. Oh, goodness. This paintbrush here is hard. So we're just gonna paint some of that gold glitter in our swirls. And we're gonna do it. I'm even going over like my black highlights with the gold. kind of like bringing it down and I'm gonna put it kind of just all over it Y'all, look at that. I'm actually going to add the gold right on my handle in certain places, too. I'm going to put it like right here for right now. I'm not going to go into it because tomorrow night, y'all, we're going to add the shamrock and the horseshoe on it. Okay, so that's all we're gonna do right now. Again, y'all, that was the Deco Art Craft Twinkles in gold. So, I think it's cute. Y'all see the, can y'all see the gold? See how it's on there? And once it dries, it'll look a whole lot better too. So I don't know if y'all can see it twinkling or sparkling but yep I haven't heard anything from you yet so I was just wondering oh wait a minute Miss Donna I miss watching you and being a part of the group hopefully things will settle soon oh Miss Tanya I hope so too hey Miss Susie uh did you get my question oh Miss Donna I did love it I will respond back to you as soon as I get off of here when did you when did you paint the hanger that is behind you? Which one? This one, this leprechaun one. I actually painted this one last night. Um, this was my inside scoop group's design. This was one of their designs. So we painted this last night together. And then this one was one of the designs for the template club, the Creator's Haven. And then this one was one of the Creator's Haven templates and also one of the inside scoop designs. So yeah. Hopefully one of those was the, was the one he was talking about. And then this one, ladies, this one is the design I'm gonna be showing you how to paint for the door hanger challenge. Y'all, it's only $10. Um, 
You know what would be really cute? If we was to add some flowers here. So during that tutorial, I may add some flowers here. And then it would be cute to add some flowers up here too, wouldn't it? So we may play around a little bit more with this one when I do the tutorial for the, the Spread the Love Challenge. Because I think flowers would be really cute on him. Or maybe here. So yeah, we may do some flowers. Uh, you're welcome, you wanted the leprechaun. You can see the gold and you always do a great job. Thank you so much, Regina. I want to join and I would have to buy a cutout. Well, if you needed to buy the cutout, then there's an option on there. To get the cutout, yeah, it was $32. And that $32, $32 covers the $10 for the challenge, the $10 for the cutout, and then the $12 for the shipping. Because shipping's gone up again, y'all, and it's crazy. Um, there's only an option to order one. But if you need to order more than one for the challenge, then um, you can just send me a private message and we can figure that out. Do you have templates for that gnome? Uh, Miss Gina, I do in the Spread the Love Challenge. If that's the one you're talking about. Like the Leprechaun gnome, that was for the inside scoop, so that won't be released to the public until probably next month. So, yes, and I will post, I will post a link really quick on, in the comments here for y'all for the challenge. So, y'all won't have to go try to find it and look it up. Um, but now, Facebook's got to where they don't want you to add links to your live videos. Because if you do, then that's the less people that's going to see it. So, I've been trying not to add those links. Everything has gone up. It has. Even the price of wood, y'all. It's... Huh, and I, I was seeing some things earlier on Facebook where someone had asked about... Um, and, y'all, please don't let this cause a panic because I, I don't know. I haven't watched any of the news today and don't know what's going on. Um, but I've heard, like I've seen where somebody said something about the... Asked, was the grocery stores empty yet? Like, did the grocery stores still have food? And everybody's like, what? It's like, oh, well, they heard that everything was going to be closed down for 100 days, I think it is. But I don't know. But it's just, y'all, this world we're living in right now, it, it is it's crazy. But the inside scoop, not the inside scoop, the challenge will be over. Um, Sunday the 24th so you have this week and this weekend to take the plunge and join the challenge y'all it's a great opportunity for only ten dollars and I will show you how to use a jigsaw um, and then the actual challenge will start the 25th and I'm going to drip out different videos during that week um, one will be the cutting video one will be like a video on how to put your templates together. So if you're very, if you're new to, to making door hangers, I'm gonna show you everything that you have to do to actually get that template done. Um, and then I will have like a video, a live video with y'all in a private Facebook group. And I will teach you and guide you like a step-by-step -step tutorial on how to paint that gnome. And then at the end of the week, uh, we're, we will have a Zoom live Q&A. It's where the, I'm going to create a Zoom link in that group for us. And I will bring y'all on the camera with me because I love to put a face to a name. So we can kind of like really get to know each other. And we're just going to talk and you can ask all of the questions that you have. And then, of course, that doors will be open to the inside scoop for y'all if y'all decided that, hey, this is something that I really, really like. And I like that girl's teaching style. So, hey, Miss Gail. Hey, Stacy. Hey, Debbie. So, y'all ladies, thank you so much for joining me. Tomorrow, we're going to add the horseshoe and the little shamrock to this design. And then, Friday, we're going to do the hand lettering on the top. And then, he will be done. Or, it will be done. It's not a he or she. Then, it will be done. So, I'm excited. And I hope to see y'all's name come across my phone. To join the challenge. I cannot wait to get that started because I have so much going on. I'm just excited about it all. 
I hope y'all have a great night, and I will see y'all again sometime tomorrow. All right, good night, ladies. Oh, I wanted to show y'all my mess. This is, gonna, this is embarrassing, but I told y'all I was going to show y'all, so I'm going to stick to my word, and I'm going to show y'all my messy table here. Let me flip my camera. Y'all, look, this is my table. Now, this is what I'm working with. <laughs> Let me come this way. Y'all, look at this. Look at that. Isn't that a mess? And when I say I'm awful on my paintbrush, I've got this jar, this jar, this jar, this cup, this jar, this jar, and this jar. Y'all, how awful is that? So I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven stinking cups of dirty paint brushes in dirty water that I've got to get clean. But yeah, look at all this. Look at this mess. Paint everywhere. My lamp, <laughs> because my other light there is quit. But how messy is that? <coughs> Please tell me I'm not the only one. Oh, I hope I'm not the only one. Looks like a creative person works there. Miss Sandy, so there we go. We will stick with that. Not that I'm just a, a dirty person. I'm just a creative person. So, But y'all have a great night, and I will see y'all again sometime tomorrow. All right, love you ladies.